all, Scotty here, and welcome back to Let's Play Boy Destroyer 2. I am once again jumping right back in from where I left off before, and hopefully my mic quality will be a little bit better, uh, because I'm no longer recording on my headset because I forgot to change the source in my previous video. So, I've set off a escort mission in which I have to follow an allied ship and defend it from enemy attacks in order to get a reward. So by the looks of it, I have lost my defensive turret because I died horribly in my previous video. Oops. There we go. So I need to follow this guy. So my aim... There we go. I don't have any allies with me. I don't think I turned the difficulty down. But I should be okay, just as long as it's not too many of the dumb things. I might try uh, flying with the joystick. I haven't tried that yet with this game. Okay, I need a little bit more distance. Now, if we're not attacked at all, that'll be A+, plus because it'll just be free money. Now, I like how the ships look on Voyager Destroyer. I like the, the art style. Uh, it looks like it's cartoony, but then again, it's a good kind of cartoony, a little bit like Borderlands, where it's got that kind of nice looking feel. And I just press the wrong button. So I'm going to follow that ship. There we go, that's better. So I'm going to be jumping from that place to another, and we'll more than likely get... Um, attacked by something on the way. Well, we see them okay so far, but I think they just appear. I don't think you see them coming in. Otherwise, it will just be far too easy to avoid them. Now, you can run if you so choose to do so. Oh, God. Okie dokie. Oh, dear. I'm about to be attacked. Or at least my ally is about to be attacked. So let's defend them. Oh, you just die. Now, hopefully, my ally has got some form of defensive armament so that they don't die horribly, like I'm probably going to do. Remember always to lead the target. Otherwise, it just makes it far too hard. I will try harder this next time. I'm trying hard enough now. Crow has been destroyed. That wasn't me. That was actually the ally that destroyed them. Now, I have been playing this game for a while. Not this game so much, but... The older one I've played for a while, so I do know the controls, but I am honestly terrible uh, with uh, controlling the ship. So that's a Grim. I guess that's an ally. Because he's not red. Okay, so. Where are you? There we go. Don't want to get too far away. But it looks like we were helped a lot there uh, by the military ships in the area. Now that happens, you end up with military ships coming to your aid uh, so that you don't die horribly within the first uh, couple of missions. Because the harder the difficulty, obviously the harder the missions are going to be and the less help you're going to get. Now there is missions that might require a bigger ship or a better armoured ship, but I haven't reached those yet. So if I come out of time dilation mode, the escort ship should be on its way. It, yeah, it only took quite light damage, 86%. I'm happy with that. <coughs> Pardon me. I can just rotate my guy. Now, I, I love playing space games. I like like the, uh, the idea that you're just tra traversing through a massive void. Uh, and there's just like human outposts dotted around. It's always a good thing. Um, that sense of exploration. Are you going to dock? 
What are you doing? Are you waiting? Yeah, I think there was. Yeah, awaiting docking permission, I think. I don't think I need to follow that guy, so. I will go backwards. Because I don't want to horribly crash into the thing. There we go. Mission reward. So. Let's dock with this guy. If I can remember how. Maybe I'll just. Do I need. I think I need to request docking permission. Oh no, it just does it. Okay. So let's see what missions they have got here for me to complete. Oh god. Uh, let I'll just do another destroy debris mission. With slightly higher difficulty. Oops. I keep pressing cancel because I'm stupid. Right. And undock. I really need to learn the short keys uh, for this game, just so I can quickly go through the menus rather than like mashing the escape key like I'm so used to doing. Locate and destroy debris. So, does it tell me where to go? Not so much. I've got, oops, I've got no arrow yet. Ah, before I do that, I'm gonna repair myself because if I don't repair myself and I get attacked then I will probably die quite quickly I'm also going to get the defensive turret again current ship so where there we go repair completely repaired I could do with a shield there we go Front out. Oh, no room. Defense turret. Yep, I'll get the defense turret. I don't want a forward thruster. Engine optimization. I'll, I'll get that one. Just because I feel like it. And what are these? Other upgrades. Sensor shield, upgrade recharge. What is that? Oh god, what have I done? What is that? No. Okay. So, I'm not sure what I did there. So, I'll save the game so I don't forget. Just doesn't matter what the name is. Now, whenever I play games, I seem to save a lot. Like, I save all the time. Just because I feel like it. Because if I don't save, and I forget, bad things tend to happen. Like, the game will crash and I'll just lose ages. What the hell is that at the top left? Must have been something I bought. Look at that. I can boost for a lot longer, I go a lot faster. Now, I might look into buying a bigger ship eventually. There we go. Great. Where are you? There you are. So I'm guessing I need to stop it from hitting one of the stations, which is what it was before. Will you move? Oh, there we go. Ah, it's because I went the wrong way. Okay. Now, I honestly don't know what that is at the top left, like the star icon. I will find out. Probably uh, do a little bit of uh, searching through the menus, because I can't remember what I clicked. Because I just buy upgrades that look cool sometimes, like, oh, that looks cool. No idea what the stats are, but I'll give it a try anyway. And then it turns out it's absolutely crap and I just blow up. Like, for instance, I played Kerbal Space Program, and I'll see it, I'll see it like a big engine and go oh yeah that looks really good and it just turns out it's just uses all my fuel really quickly and I just die really? fly my pretty go to object oh here we go Ah, it's actually quite damaged already.
Oh god. Whoops. So I just need to catch this guy. And blow him at this guy. Well, it's not even a guy, it's what's left of a ship by the looks. As I speed up, he's going very, very fast. Very, very quickly. But I can speed up. God damn it, how fast are you going? Now I'm in a fighter, so I should be able to catch him eventually. But he's getting away, still. I'm not sure if he's accelerating. It's going to take me a little bit of time to catch him. I might have screwed up this because I might not be able to go fast enough. Because I'm, I'm hitting 700 and he's still going. And something's exploding. Ah, the speed at which he's getting away is slowing down. There we go, I'm catching him now. I'm not sure why things are blowing up though. Maybe because he's passing through? But yes, regrets at not getting a slightly faster ship. Eight hundred. I'm gonna hit like a thousand miles an hour. Is it miles an hour? Yeah, meters a second rather. Just from boosting to get to this damn ship. Come on. Can I hit him from here? I don't think I can. Come on, I can't even click him now. I clicked off him by accident, so I have no idea. There we go. He was so small I couldn't click him. Come on. Am I in, I'm in interstellar space now, just chasing this damn thing. Now this will happen, you make mistakes in games, everyone does, where you just, you overjudge something or you underjudge something and it's either a complete fuck up, like I have, trying to chase this thing, or you do really well and you surprise yourself. I don't know why things are exploding though. Maybe the mines or, some, or something? Here we go, I'm closing on him now. Just take a little bit of time. Thing is, knowing me, I'll overshoot the bugger as well. And that doesn't really matter if I overshoot him, I just want to slow him down. Not close enough yet. Now it's just some debris, so it shouldn't really have any armour. There we go, that's better. Now I think I need to upgrade my secondary fire a little bit, just to do a bit more damage. And that, my bullets are bouncing off him. Maybe he's armoured a little bit. Would make sense. He's getting away from me again. I'm guessing he's going at about 800 kilometres ish. Yeah, I definitely need to look into upgrading my weapons because I'm not that far away from him. Yeah, I'm not doing any damage whatsoever. And my bullets aren't even bouncing off him. Come on. If this was actually a mission where it was going to hit something, I think I would have failed it by now. Come on. Please? Ah, there we go. I'm doing damage now. But that's only... I'm guessing my second fire is only a short range weapon. Yes! There you go, you bugger. Where the hell did I end up? Wow. 
miles away. <laughs> right, um... I'll go to New, New Troy. Pick up another mission. Now, I'm also recording at 720p because uh, last time I recorded at 1080 and then scaled it down and it was like a huge file. It ended up being like 5 gig. So, it took a long time to upload. <laughs> so, hopefully with this uh, recording at 720p we'll uh, make it easier to upload and you guys won't really notice because the graphics of Bond Destroyer, it doesn't really matter um, what you record it at because it's not massively detailed which is a good thing because you don't really, you don't really need a powerful PC to run it. Now where's the entrance? I can't remember how to request do oops can't remember how to request docking. Ah there it is, there's a dock. Because if you actually request docking, uh, it'll show up with like a green arrow. But I've slept since. And I can't remember how to do it. There we go, straight in. And it went straight down the middle. Now, I think I showed you guys this before. You can actually run around the ship. Now, one thing I was saying when I was talking to uh, Paul in my previous video is... I would like to be able to run around to get certain upgrades, like maybe rather than having a menu in front of you, uh, having like control panels and stuff that you can go into that are labelled. Can I go in here? Nope, I can't. I wish I could, but apparently it's not even been readed down there. So what else can I get with my current ship? with my weapons is. So I've got a defensive turret, which is good. I'm a, can I get armor plating? Nope. If I can get a shield recharge, that's it. Engine optimization? Oh. Okay, so I can't really get a lot. What are these all about? By optimizing space and reconfiguring, sometimes even replacing internal systems, room for an additional active upgrade slot. Yay, primary upgrade slot. So I'm I'm spending all my money to get upgrades. So uh upgrade recharge and sensor shield. No room, damn it. Okay, dokie. So let's pick no I don't wanna undock. I wanna pick another mission. God damn it. Me and my clumsiness. Pressing the wrong button. Oh, it's upgrades, okay. That's what it is. It's Today I learned that the upgrade slots at the top left. I honestly didn't know that. So, I, I as per usual, I'm learning as I record. Missions. Could do a courier mission. Yeah, let's do a courier mission at this guy. Difficulty beginner, because I don't want to die. Although I didn't save just then, so I might die anyway. But oh well, it's early days. Got plenty of time to play the game. Now this will probably be my final mission for now. I just wanted to give you guys a basic overview. Overview. Once I can pronounce words properly in English, well. Look, uh, where are you? I can see an arrow. Okay, that's confusing. Um, I think I might, I know where it is, but it's weird. Right. Yeah, that is strange. I'm, I'm following the green arrow, but it would be nice if it went to the middle of the screen when I was, like, facing it. I need to get a bit further away. Because why not? Very nice music as well. I do like the music in this game. So can I... No, not just yet. More distance required. I would like to be able to, like, set the overworld jump before I got to the edge. So that it would automatically trigger once I got to the edge. Yeah, more or less going towards the target. But it would be nice if it went to the middle. 
Now, because he's such a small developer, he does take suggestions from the community. So, maybe if he watches this video, he might go, oh yeah, that would be really, oh god. Okay, time for me to die. If I can get out of this mission, right. Where are you? I'm gonna try, oh there you go. A crow. I'm sure he's got the same size brain as one as well. I've got a defensive turret now, so that might help me. And I have got some, uh, oops, I have got um, a defensive turret, which should be able to make light work of him. Oh, now kiss, oh dear. Now he's nearly dead. Where the hell? Okay. There you are. Will you stop moving and let me shoot you? Lucky shot because you're almost dead. There you go. You're dead. Time for you to die. Horribly, in a hole somewhere. There we go. Let's go to my destination. I keep pressing the wrong damn button. There we go. So I can now deliver the goods and not blow up. So I have to dock with the base and then I'll get another mission all ready and set up to go. For next time when I uh, play a little bit more. Now my aim will be to get a bigger ship but as the developer said, uh, he said I probably missed the speed of this ship. Like maybe all ships can go quick but it's, it's just acceleration. Okie dokie. So I've got my credits. I get myself repaired. Like so. Now I wish I could... Oh! There we go. I could, I could install the, uh, the light. And the shield generator. Right, so... If I remove that upgrade. And put that upgrade in. I've got no... No room. Right, so I've got the energy recharge. I literally don't have enough room for shields. Like I've got the <laughs> I've got the ability to recharge my shields, but I don't have the ability to actually have shields, which is why I took damage direct to my hull uh, while I was under fire. So Ah that'll do. Front energy barrier. <laughs> I've got enough time for one more mission, why not? So let's do another escort mission on beginner difficulty rather than novice. Oops. Now I'm pressing the mission button when I'm. And I'm going to go back in and save because I forgot to do that last time, which was a scary moment when I was attacked. In fact, no, bugger it. I'll escort him now. Because he's going to set off and then... He'll set off, and then he'll die, and I'll get blamed. Whoops. That's not going to do... That's not going to help if I'm shooting at the ship. It's because the secondary fire button is in between the rotate buttons, which is C and Z, and the fire button is X. So if you don't have your... Um, hands right on the keyboard, you'll end up shooting your allies completely by accident. There we go. Following him. 
Well, I've got an eye as well. Are those enemies there? Uh, I think they are. Straight in front of us. Or maybe not. We just flew straight past it. Oh, here we go. Do myself a, a favour and leave. How about no? Because if I leave, you will blow me up and shoot me and all kinds of death will happen. God damn it. Why is it alerting when he's so damn far away? Come on. Get closer so I can kill you. Your death will be swift. But it's not painless as you suffocate in the depths of space. And you flew straight past me. Oh god, I didn't realise that there was uh, other ones attacking it as well. I went after the wrong ship. Scammer's been destroyed. Are you really? You shouldn't really be drinking and driving. That's an ally. Die, yeah, bugger. I keep doing that, I keep going far too fast. Like, I need to learn to match the speed. And he's dead. Fantastic. Yay. How much damage did you take? Oh, you took a little bit of damage, but you're still in the... You're in the yellow. So you're not dead. Which you very easily could have been. I was ahead towards our allied base. As it were. I do wish there was music in between. Like right now, there's there's just there is the sounds of various stuff happening, but there's no like exploration music. There's just music when you get to each section, and that sounds like depth, depth charges. You know, like if you're in a submarine. There we go. As he flies towards his objective, cursing me for not protecting him enough. He also got a little bit. He's been repaired a little bit. He's um, on 71 rather than 68 now, which is a good thing. He must have some kind of hull regeneration. Probably for any idiots like me uh, try to escort him, in, and we don't do very well. We just kind of fly around far too fast and don't get the enemies at all. There we go, that'll do. Right, so I am going to dock, and then that'll be all for now. Uh, if you guys want to see some more, feel free to let me know. Uh, I will record whenever I can. So I'll just call that a lot of random letters again, I'll know which one it is. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'll include a link in the description as normal for you guys to give it a try if you so want to. It looks like it's very, very promising. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it when it's completely finished. I'm not, not sure what else is going to add, but yeah, if, uh, feel free to let me know if there's uh, any other things you want me to try in the game. That's all for me for now. See ya!